So now we've got that raid card installed. Um, just fitting the drives. You'll see that I had to tape this off with duct tape. It passes just past where the drives stick out. So they stick out a little further than than I would have liked because this card's pretty long. But with this duct tape here, it shouldn't short out the card or do anything like that. So luckily it fits right in between all the, all the hard drives. So um, that should be good to go once we get the drives ready to go. One thing unique that I've been doing in my home servers is cleaning out these CD-ROM drive bays. And what I've been doing is actually fitting my cable modems and routers inside the case. Uh, so that way they're out of the way. I kind of have limited space in my apartment, in my condo, so it's kind of a neat way to uh, kind of put all all the things in one. So I'll show you how I work that out in a minute. So what I'm doing is using double side tape here, and uh, to get that on there, I'll peel off the back and put it in place here. like so and that double side tape stays on really good the last time I stuck it on there as you can see it peeled off the sticker on the bottom because it's so tough so uh, don't underestimate the power of double sided tape so now we've got that all mounted in there so these lights are all visible they're mounted in there pretty securely now i got to find a way to feed the power wires back up into them. So I finally have it all installed. I've got all the network cables I'm going to be using in there. And uh, I've got the power cables for the router and the cable modem running down the side and out the back as so. Um, and in a project like this, cable ties are your best friends. Otherwise it becomes quite a mess in there. So, now I think it's finally time to finally get the array in there. So, finally here is the radio array in place. Now I just have to fire it up and see if it works. So here's the completed project. We've got our home server running Windows Server 2003 standard. Um, got the cable modem and routers built in. Have our five terabyte worth of Western Digital drives and they're in the RAID 5 configuration which gives me four terabytes effectively. Um, on top I've got a external hard drive if I want to transport things and it serves as a backup so I can basically mirror all my important files to the USB backup. Um, RAID isn't a perfect system it, you can still lose all your files so you should always have a secondary backup. Um, anyways, that should do it.